So up on the 16th floor of the Grand Destino Tower here at Disney's Coronado Springs, you will find Toledo's. And it is going to offer fantastic steaks and tapas that you will be obsessed with. And look at these views. through some of our menu items. So we're focusing on the flavors of Spain. So we have a, a beautiful tapas station in the back where Chef Chris is out there right now. So we're doing two types of tapas out of there. So we have our pinchos here. So these are our small one, two biters. So pinchos is the is the stick in Spain. That's what signifies a pincho. Um, in this one we have our tortilla española, which is a very classic pincho in Spain. And then in the middle we have mussels escabiche. Toss in a nice fresh little escabiche vinaigrette with sherry vinegar. Underneath we have a saffron aioli. Uh, on the other side, we have beautiful yellowfin tuna, uh, slow olive oil poached. And then we move over uh, our tapas, we move over to our cazuelas. So these are uh, more shareable tapas. So we have our piquillo peppers here, stuffed with an herb goat cheese. They're roasted in that fire, uh, the hearth oven back there, got a nice and uh, uh, smoky flavor on them. And we finish them with uh, green onion vinaigrette and then a 25 year sherry vinegar. And then the, uh, the, grow, the ever growing popular pulpo or our octopus. So braised for six hours, super tender. Once again, it's charred in the back there. We have some nice uh, green lentils on there. And the two sauces, we have a romesco sauce and a chimichurri. So one of the fun plates I like is everybody has a cheese. Everybody has a cheese board on their menu. Um, we have four different types of manchego cheese. So manchego being from La Mancha, Spain. We have a three month, six, eight, and a 12 month manchego. It's really cool. It's like a journey of cheese. You can taste the different textures as it ages and the flavors. Oh wow! So it's that's really awesome. fun. So on there we have the Spanish Marcona almonds as well, Gwent's paste, uh, and then a beautiful little chunk of honeycomb on the side as well. So if people aren't familiar with Quince, is that kind of like a sour fruit or it tart? Is. It is. It's a little tart. It's a little tartish, you know. And then you, you cook it down until you get the little, the nice paste, and it sweetens up. So what else do we have? So we have. Uh, Brought in with some hams and sausages here. We do have our Iberico, our Hamon Iberico right there. And then we have two other um, Iberico sausages here as well. And we offer those on our, we have two, di two different charcuterie plates. So one of our entrees that we're showing here is our sea scallops. So underneath you have a fava bean hummus. We have some fresh fava beans as well, and some roasted baby carrots, um, uh, an olive tapenade. And then we have a, uh, a fun little um, yogurt powder and Ooh. then a harissa yogurt, so it's, it's, it's fun. A little melts in your mouth, a little kick from the harissa, <laughs> so it's good. You can't come without, you know, you can't leave without having desserts. I'm really excited about <laughs> these desserts. What's this one right so here? So this is a uh, classic crema catalana. So it's not, don't, it's not to be confused with a flan or a creme brulee. It's much lighter. It's more of a pudding texture under there. It is, uh, we do add a little bit of sugar and torch it to, to get that little, that little snap on top, a little candy. Oh, that's awesome. Is that just a chocolate like twill? Coconut twill there, and we have Valencia orange segments there as well, and just a little candied orange. And what's this guy right here? This is my favorite. This is our ta Toledo tapas bar. It's like a beautiful chocolate bar underneath with a little crunch, and then on top it's a progression of flavors. We have cheesecake, lemon, raspberry, chocolate, and then finishing out with the strongest being uh, espresso coffee. And I would imagine that the restaurant at night has some gorgeous views. Fantastic views, yeah, with all the lights and, and all the action out, it's very pretty. Is there one thing in the restaurant that you would love for people to really notice? I just want them to watch back there and watch the artistry of the cooks making everything. You know, it's a fun place to watch them, see them interact. They love interacting with the guests. That and the ceiling is are my two big popular items. Well, thanks so much for taking time to show us these dishes. Can't Thank wait you. to give them a try. Thank you.